Hello everybody and welcome back to NHL 2K6 in the Blue Jackets series here. We are all the way out in San Jose, California in the Shark Tank taking on the San Jose Sharks. Uh, continuing our road trip to start the season here. We have like a five or six game road trip that we started in at the end of the last video when we played Chicago and it's going to continue here uh, in California. So we're going to get the last three games of this road trip, uh, this California road trip here. Uh, California Dream, or it could be a nightmare, depending on how we play. Uh, we, we had a good first start to the video here, going 2-1, and one, taking home some uh, overtime wins against the Capitals and the Blackhawks. So if we can continue that momentum rolling into this video here, uh, then uh, who knows where we could sit here going through our first month. But already, San Jose is going to light the lamp with a huge slapper from the circle. Uh, for the Sharks as we're going to get an early goal lead here just a few minutes into the first period. And that one was almost offside. Just a huge slapper beating Mark Denise on the glove side. And we saw some pretty weak performances from Mark Denise in the first video. So we do have a pretty solid backup situation, but hopefully we're not going to have to rely on it here as we have enough off days where Mark Denise should be able to be pretty, uh, at least on top of things, <laughs> you know, uh, in the net for us. But we do have a couple back-to-backs uh, in the next couple of videos. So uh, later on in the game, we wouldn't really do much of anything in San Jose. That's Patrick Marleau who would able to get the loose puck in our own zone and dump it into the empty net beats the defenseman in the corner there just a poor performance overall as we do not show up offensively in the last video our two wins came from multi-goal performances uh in both of our wins so uh it, it's going to be uh we're going to need some more diversification here on our offense we got a lot of uh a lot of uh, offensive potency between people like rick nash and of course uh newman and our, our free agent that we signed so we should be able to net some pucks here but obviously in san jose that did not go as planned so we're going on down from the tank to the pond to play the mighty ducks of anaheim just a couple years before they would uh, drop that whole moniker, but we still get the Mighty Ducks in this series. So if you enjoy the Mighty Ducks and miss them, uh, they are firmly here. And we are in a full uh, uh, Arrowhead Pond here in Anaheim, California to take on the Ducks. And already the Ducks are moving down into our zone. It's a quick pass, and another slapper on the glove side is going to beat Mark Denise, and the Ducks are going to take a one-goal lead again early in the first period. Uh, that is Peter Sikora, who is able to just kind of, from the same spot as San Jose's goal, man, just Mark Denise from that range on that side just really does not seem to have his wits about him. Just seems to get beat pretty consistently on that side. So a weak glove is not something I want for my goaltender, but the first period is going to come to a close. The Ducks one goal. The only offense to speak of. And so again, the Blue Jackets still looking for some offense here. We might get some in the second period as the shot is loose in the zone. A quick exchanging of passes ends up with a puck in the net from Rick Nash. It's his first of the season here as uh, Three and Fleury, I think, got the loose puck in the zone and just flipped it over to Rick Nash and just beats the goaltender on the blocker side. Just, just just, barely, man. Look at the timing, man. Rick Nash is positioned perfectly. Anaheim's defense really just lost track of him. I don't know how you lose track of a man like Rick Nash, but he finally gets his first goal of the season. It comes about four or five games into the season, but hopefully it is the first of many for Rick Nash. I'd love to see a lot of goals from that guy right there. So nothing would happen later on in the game, so we're going to end regulation uh, at 1-1. So nothing is going to happen. So we need more uh, time once again, man. We've already played three overtime games here or games that have gone at least into overtime and uh, nothing's going to happen in overtime either so we're going to need a shootout now I think it's our second shootout. I think we went to shootout with uh, with Chicago so we again <laughs> it's tough to get some goals here for this team I don't know what it is but after a few rounds here Anaheim uh, coming down with the puck on Denise here and some fancy stick work is again going to beat Mark Denise on the glove side and that is going to be all she wrote the Mighty Ducks are going to take this game so we at least do get the point here uh, but we do fail uh, one to win and two to score more than a single goal so offense is beginning to be a little bit concerning as this road trip seems to be taking its wear and tear uh, on our offensive effort defense has been okay we haven't given up a ton of goals uh, I'll take a two goal performance especially for Mark Denise 
uh, but we definitely need to see more pucks in the net. So we're going to finish things off up the highway here. We're going to get on the freeway uh, and go right up to the Staples Center in downtown LA and finish off this road trip with the Kings, man, because uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, we need to we need to get out of California. Things aren't going well. So the Kings taking the puck down in Arizona. You're just two minutes into the period and a quick one-timer. Mark Denise tries to go for the two-pad stack and it's not going to work as he gets beaten on that side. So Craig Conroy, some uh, some interesting uh, passing here, some some nice offensive work here from Straka and Frolov. Frolov to get the puck over uh, for the one-timer. Just look at this, man. Just just quick quick pass and quick release. We had defense in position, but just no one could seem to, I don't know, make a play on the puck, man, and, and get the loose puck here in the zone. Mark Denise doing everything he can, laying out for that save. Just can't quite get it. So it was a nice goal from L.A., but already here again, once again, early in a first period, we find ourselves down. So And again, that's all that's going to happen in the first period. It's just us giving up an early goal. So I would really like to see us get to the opposing team early if possible but uh to start off the period off of the face off we're going to take control of the puck in the neutral zone and uh, and just take it down and just beat the goalie glove side just it, just like that man it, it's that easy as tepo newman and our uh, our free agent that we signed he finally gets his name etched in to the cbj books with a goal his first goal of the season just a slapper uh, to the other side, too, man. Doesn't even try to go blocker side. Just goes straight slapper to the glove side, uh, and that's going to beat the goalie. So we will happily take that, man, uh, as, as, as now the Kings, man. Feeling a little bit of pressure here. But just a couple minutes later in the same period, the Kings once again on offense, and it's another one-timer, and Denise was just frozen. And that time we did not have the defense in position, man. That was just definitely just off some fancy puck work here from the Kings. And once again, just a couple more minutes in the second period, and it's the, the – the, 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 the hat trick it's the hat trick I'm, I'm i'm completely blown away that we've already seen a hat trick here an opposing team hat trick and so now after just about 25 or so minutes of in-game time the kings have got themselves hats on the ice as that puck beats mark denise through the legs and so now moving ahead, that is going to do it for the second period. The Kings holding on to a nice two-goal lead heading into the third uh, after a hat trick, man. So all the production's coming from uh, just Craig Conroy. Uh, in, in well, a combination between the first and second period, but Conroy is the one who's really holding things down for the Kings here. But now in the third period, about halfway through, and it's another slapper that's going to beat... Um, I'm going to beat Mark Denise on the blocker side. So it's it's going to be Martin Straka here, the man who's uh, pretty much set up uh, Conroy for pretty much all of his goals. So he's having himself a, a crazy game. Have yourself a game <laughs> because he's probably got probably four or five points, I think, in this game by himself. So the Kings now putting this game uh, essentially uh, out of reach pretty much. Here's a three-goal lead in the third. is going to spell doom for the Jackets, and we go 0 for 3 in this California road trip, man. Absolute utter disaster. Things started off so well, we outshot the Kings by so much and just could not seem to get any pucks to go into the net. Couldn't get nothing to land here, so uh, L.A. 2 for 6 on one-timers. That's crazy. So uh, heading back to our hub world now, we are finally returning home. We have a nice home stand, and so the next video is going to pretty much cover that entire home stand. We're going to be going the Sharks, the Red Wings twice, the Preds, and then finishing off with that first game against the Minnesota Wild before we take to the road again. So thank you all for watching this uh, disastrous California trip, and I hope to see you guys back in Columbus in Nationwide Arena.